Hey guys, it's been a long time. Um, I know, and I'm sorry about that. Had a few things on my plate, been busy with stuff, as I'm sure you can understand. But hope you guys had a good new year, etc. And uh, I hope to do some more tutorials. This one has been, this is like a, a two part sort of tutorial. Uh, I have had a lot of people ask about the lead sound in the Nicky Romero and Avicii song, I Could Be the One. And also, the other thing was, um, at the end of the sound that they're talking about, they do. There's like a little modulation on the last note of the chord or, or the or the note where it does that vibrato part. And it's been in a few other songs recently as well. And if you don't know much about synths, then you'll find that quite tough to to work out how to get that modulation on just like you know one note or whichever note you want it to be on. So I'll show you a similar way. Uh, I'll show you a way to make a similar sounding lead from the Avicii and Nicky Romero song. Plus, I'll show you how you can do that modulation. Um, right, so this is the sound. That was that end bit coming up right now. Okay, that's the part that they all wanted to know. Um, and I'll run through... Okay, now my MIDI isn't quite perfect, but... Oh, well. Uh, it's not my strong point. Anyway, so I'll show you. This is my sound over the top, and then I'll solo it. Okay, so you can hear on the end of that last um, note, it does that vibrato uh, modulation part. Okay, so straight into it, massive. I'm going to give this preset up for free. So if you like that sound, you don't even have to keep watching the video, just download it from the um, box below. But if you want to know a little bit about how I made it, which is pretty simple, then just keep watching right now. So this was made from a initialized, just a brand new patch. Okay, so um, in the voicing, I didn't do anything. Um, yes, yeah, so I did nothing in the in those tabs up the top there. It's a square wave. Uh, the intensity, I actually changed it to um, the bend negative, just to sort of I wanted to change the the sound a little bit more, and I often I often change it up here just so I can get it sort of I can get some different sounds out of that oscillator. It's routed to filter one, which is the scream filter, and um, it's up the volume is the max um, the square wave the sound the lead sound in the Avicii and Nicky Romero song it's not like a you know a really clean uh, square wave it's got a bit of grit to it so I ran it through the scream filter just to um, help add that grit uh, no other oscillators are used um, apart from the noise one down the bottom here it's just a white color all the way to the top and the amp is about halfway because I didn't want you know like it didn't need to be that full of volume with this noise oscillator just need to just combine nicely with the um, square wave now you can see here instead of pushing the um, up the slider here to filter one I've put it all the way down to filter two because I didn't want it to be run through the screen filter so it's running through a bandpass filter um, and that's how I've got it just to I've just kind of tuned the bandpass filter so I'm just selecting you know a band in the frequency range where I really want it to just kind of come through and sit on top of the square wave so uh, that's how I set it up and again the volume is at the top here so the square wave goes through the screen filter and the noise oscillator goes through the bandpass filter uh, you can see here as well uh, on the insert I've got this sample and hold uh, and those are my settings again just wanted to add a tiny bit of grit to the sound and then the delay that was just for a little bit of to sort of make the sound spread out a little bit more. Um, the dimension expander, um, I'll explain this yellow uh, line in a, in a moment. And EQ, just a tiny boost at the top there. Okay, now on this uh, square wave right here, you can see I've uh, set up the, this LFO to the pitch, and I've just put it up one. Okay, so this is going to give the actual sound, this is going to give it some vibrato, some pitch modulation. Okay, now, um, don't worry about this number two macro and the yellow line. I was just using that to, to fine tune, uh, to fine tune the, the amount of LFO. So, 
the, sorry, the speed of the LFO. So don't worry about that one. Uh, okay. Now, uh, just the ordinary sine wave was fine. Now then, what I did was, I, uh, let's just say, if I take this, I'll take it off and show you how I did it. So, if I go off, and if I go off, um, I think that's all I had it for, oh no, and, and on this filter here, off. Okay, so, at the moment, if I was to run through the sound, um, if I was to run through the sound, and I wouldn't be able to get that that vibrato at the end. So what I what I've done here is on the macro. Okay, so one this knob a macro. If you know what a macro is, a macro is I can set this knob up here and I can like drag it over to as many boxes as I want. And when I turn this one macro knob, it turns all of the other knobs that I've sent it to. Okay, so I wanted to basically I'm gonna make my mod my mod wheel on my keyboard uh, control this. Now, what I wanted to control was, I wanted to control uh, the amount of this LFO so that when I wanted to add that vibrato on the last note, I could make the LFO much more pronounced. Okay, so if I was to play a note now, sorry, I was to play a note now, and then as I was to increase my mod wheel like so okay so it's adding it's making that LFO more pronounced on the pitch so the other thing that I wanted to do was I mean that's pretty much you could settle just for that but I got a little bit more tricky and on the envelope I also attached it to the decay here uh, sorry the sustain and so that on that last note, because it's a lot longer than the others, it would sustain without losing volume. Um, like that. On that last note. And also, just again, to be tricky, um, I just sent it to the size of the Dimension Expander. So again, as I made this macro increase, uh, it would also make sort of more sort of reverb sort of sound. So it'd be like this. So so that's what it is really. Um yeah. But you're welcome to obviously download the patch. You can go through it yourself and see, you know, do some reverse engineering, see how I made it. Uh it's not that hard really. And have a play around with it. Um apart from that, hopefully I can do some more tutorials uh this year. Do some more sounds, etc. And uh, yeah, free download for this patch. Details in the box below. And we'll see you guys around. Thanks.